Starbucks right now. Starbucks Reserve because this is the only cafe that has ample seating and books and parking. The three key things you need at a cafe. Which one should we get? Abuela's pie? No. Whoa, Echo Park. Do you like brownies? I do like brownies. That's like two Treat from treats one in one. Yeah. yeah. So I've decided on a strawberry vegan ice cream and Amy cinnamon rolls. Got the tiny cinnamon rolls. Are you excited? Yes. Hello, everybody. Today Hi, is Thursday. I'm with Ben and James. Hey, the dream team. Yes, the trio is back. Uh, we are heading to Universal Studios and I'm so excited. It's been a couple of years since we've been there. Yeah. Um, but I'm actually really sick. Yesterday, I slept at 6.30 p.m. and I woke up at 9.30 a.m. today. And so I don't know how many hours of sleep that was, but the crazy thing is I still feel <laughs> a little tired. Um, but yeah, I think it's just this cold that I got from Singapore or maybe on the flights back. But yeah, I am still gonna chug along and we're about to explore Universal Studios. I am so excited to see Hogwarts in the flesh. Uh, last time we were here, it didn't exist. So I'm so excited to get some butterbeer, maybe get a wand, who knows? Oh. It's Hogsmeade. It's back to school shopping. Get your wands, your caves, your owls, everything. <laughs> we got a happy get strutting in with Star. Look at that, huh? <laughs> That's why we're only getting one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> Can I get an extra strawberries? You got your butter bean? It's butter beer. <laughs> <laughs> you got your butter beer? I got my butter beer. We got the slush version because it's quite warm today. Let's give it a taste. Slow pan in for the Ooh, moment. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, it's does it taste like beer? No, not at all. It's awesome. It tastes it tastes like a caramel drink. It's good. Yeah? Approved. Yeah, it is like caramel. Holy crap. So we just finished the Harry Potter ride and it was surprisingly really frightening, especially the whole like Death Walker scene. Oh my god. It was good. It was really terrifying. It was funny. It was so much different things were going on. They really smashed in all the Harry Potter references in yeah. a matter of like two minutes. It was so crazy. Yeah. All right, lunch is served. We got two Mother Nature burgers and one Krusty burger. And a Duff beer. And a Duff beer. I think very healthy start to the day. <laughs> mm. Look what they won! It is Bart with the Jaws costume on. How much did this cost? For $24. <laughs> $24 later. <laughs> over here we got some hair masks inspired by these fruits over here. Do you know avocado is a fruit? <laughs> Bet you didn't know that. Rose. Rose. Cheers. <laughs> it's us. Thank you so much. Thank you. So good. We put goji berries on there too. Yes. Antioxidants. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. It's good though. Wow. The banana in there is fantastic. You can't really do fresh banana like that. Oh my goodness. Mrs. Odd Hendrix. I'm obsessed in with this jacket. Oh my gosh. Man. It looks so beautiful on her. I'm just start, not trying to get it dirty. <laughs> Way, hey. I love you. I love you so much, cheeky girl. Meetings went well. Uh, the first meeting was just kind of like a 
like a brain dump, I guess. They just wanted to pick our brain about how the YouTube space was. And then this next meeting that I just went to was with the brand. It's like very exciting to see my growth, especially on a social level, because even like three years ago, I would get so anxious over meetings. I'd be like, ugh, like I would think about them the night before and I'd overthink everything, but it's so true. Like the more you do something, the more routine it gets and the less scared you become. So if something scares you, keep doing it over and over again until it doesn't freak you out anymore. I swear it works. I'm here with the lovely So So. Hello. She invited me to this gorgeous YSL event and we just met Adam Levine. <laughs> so I, I didn't know we were actually going to meet him. I know. I thought he was just, like, performing or something. No, I thought he was just going to be chilling. Chilling. <laughs> we came here early, so that's the perks of coming early. Snooze, you lose. I know. <laughs> Look, tiny boots. This is one section of this mansion. There is a living area. This bedroom, I just love the aesthetic here. I like how, I'm usually not a big fan of dark walls, but I mean, in a space this big, you can afford to have some black sections. Oh, it looks so striking. I love it. Hi guys, it is Saturday morning, 9.20. I am 10 minutes early to my therapist appointment. I've got my green smoothie in this cute little portable cup that Tar gave me. Um, I love metal straws like this, and so I'm really happy I have like something to put my smoothies in because I love drinking them through a straw. Every Saturday I try to go see my therapist. Um, I mean, normally I see her around like 11 a.m., but since today is such a packed day, uh, I had to do like a 9.30 spot. Like personally, I love going to my therapist on a Saturday because it's just like a full day where I can just relax and have the day off. I've noticed that when I try, have, try and have appointments in between like the weekday or like after work, like my mind is so congested that it's really hard to, to focus. So yeah, I like to come on the weekends. It kind of keeps me accountable for Friday uh, because then like I don't go so crazy on Friday because I'm like, well, I have to go to my appointment on Saturday and I don't want to be hungover. Uh, after this, I am going to Emily's uh, rehearsal for her wedding. So a lot of great stuff today. And then I got to go pick up my dress. I got it tailored. I mean, hopefully it's done. The lady said she was going to call me when it was done. It was supposed to be done yesterday, but I did not receive a voicemail or a missed call. So I'm just going to show up and pray to God that it's done because if it's not, I'm just gonna have to like hot glue something, you know? Irmala and Dan. Today is Emily's official wedding day. We're at her apartment, just getting our hair done. Uh, we put some baby's breath on our hair and uh, I just can't believe this day is actually here. The girls are just having some blueberries. Okay, I'm gonna show the, the vlog how you guys did the baby's breath. <gasps> Look how it cascades down. So cute. So pretty. My beautiful bride. And then Andrea has baby stuff down over there. So, so. Ooh, getting a fresh blowout. Cherry's hair as well. She's got just a pop of baby's breath. Just getting her makeup done. These are the dresses. This is Emily's beautiful wedding dress, reception dress.
reception dress is amazing. At the Givenchy event, we're about to have some tea. What's in that bag though? I think it's a good one. Very bold navy. Oh. What do I choose? A coral. A coral, of course. No, or do you want purples or brown? I like Why this not? one. Oh, nice. A coral. I feel like this. This really embodies me. Are you gonna do your handle or your name? <laughs> I'll just do my name. Do I'll do my name. Corner. Ooh! Wow. Oh, this is not turning oh, out no. great. Let's 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 try. Okay, let's rewind. One. Let's rewind. I'm back home from all the events today and I wasn't even able to speak to you guys, but oh my lord, I freaking forgot my camera in my Uber. And I cannot even begin to tell you like how many things I've lost and I'm honestly not a forgetful person. Like if I actually I guess I am a forgetful person. <laughs> How can I say that statement when I literally have lost everything? I've lost my phone, I've, lo I've left my purse, and now my camera, and I've also left the other Canon T3i in another Uber as well. And the crazy thing is, I didn't even drink at the event, so I really have no excuse. I must say I am fortunate that everything I have lost has been returned to me, so Karma's on my side, but I, I swear, Karma's probably being like, yo, like I've given you so many chances to learn your lesson, like why, why haven't you? But yeah, I got my camera back, and obviously I tipped the Uber for coming back, and oh, I'm just so thankful, because this would, would have been so expensive to replace. Alright guys, workout complete. I went to Barry's, and today was back and arms day, <clears throat> which is probably the least challenging out of all of the days. Like the hardest one's definitely legs and butt day. I think it's because there's just more muscle that you're burning and the last couple days I've been feeling kind of under the weather, especially on Monday. I think it's because on Sunday we were, you know, drinking and having a great time for Emily's wedding. And on Monday I was pretty hungover, but these days my hangovers are not physical. They're mostly mental. And you know, like after a night of drinking, sometimes your mind just say, says the craziest things to you, like making you question your life and making you regret everything. Um, and apparently they're called the hate me's. And I am very, very susceptible of getting the hate me's. And it sucks because you know at the wedding, I think I had like five drinks and I was just wrecked the next day. But yeah, I finally feel like a hundred today, it's Wednesday, and I've got a big week on. I've got a bunch of meetings today. Hey guys, so I just finished my meeting and it went really well. I'm super excited what we come up with. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to get ready to go to my next meeting. And uh, But before I went and got ready, I wanted to address something because it's it's about a, a certain type of comment that I feel like every YouTuber gets. And it's the, Jen, you've changed so much. You have lost your genuineness. You've lost your authenticity. All your vlogs are either sponsored or they're just like their favorites or stuff that we've seen before. And I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. Like I have definitely changed. I am so happy that I'm not the same person that I was when I was 23. Um, I would say that I've changed for the better, but it's hard for people that are not in my life to see that I've changed for the better. All you guys are, all, all you guys see are clips that I show. And um, it's very rare that I really kind of open up to you guys because it takes a lot out of me. I do want to pour all that out, but I feel like at this point in my life, this is all the bandwidth that I have. And I guess it's always upsetting to read something where you're trying your best, but it's not enough to someone. And I just want to tell this person that I'm sorry that you feel this way. I'm sorry that I am no longer the role model that you look up to, but I never wanted to be a role model. I'm just, I'm just me. I feel like in YouTube, there are definitely seasons, like seasons where it's more difficult, seasons that are more effortless, and definitely like March, April, May, June, July, these five months are the craziest for, for me personally. And this is um, 
when I had the most like breakdowns in 2017 last year because it was just a lot of work to handle. But I can feel myself getting stronger and I wanted to address this because if you guys are thinking that way, then this is why I am the way I am. Hello everybody, today is the Eggy Drop 5 shoot. It is the summer collection and here is one of the dresses. Uh, we're going for something uh, a little bit more regal, more renaissance. Uh, we just finished shooting on this sick killer chair. We've got some blue lights and some pink lights and it's just like a nice moody situation. We're doing six outfits today so we knock one down, five more to go. You guys look so cool. The fog machine, the lights. shooting my third look and yes there is so much going on uh, I think the theme for this look is more is more and I love it we're gonna change this makeup and hair though which I'm so sad um, I don't know if I did a close-up for you but basically we did a glossy eye we did freckles and a glossy lip and Mitchell just added a ton of hair into my head and I feel like a whole different person with this amount of hair like I feel confident I feel very full and it's great but now we're gonna go on for makeup and hair look number two. Oh my god, so this is our last makeup and hair look and I'm obsessed. Got a blue glittery eye and some wet hair. Hello, Chippo. Hello. Chicky is done with her bath. She's pretty much all dry. I love using this Dyson hair dryer. It is amazing for humans and for pets. And <clears throat> I'm gonna give her a treat because she was such a good girl. And now when I take her to the tub, she is literally gonna be flying out the freaking door. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm just gonna let her go downstairs. She is so excited. Okay. Watch. So you go straight. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, she's so excited. Good morning, everybody. Hello, everyone. It's Ben and Jen here. Mm -hmm. We are heading to the dentist. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I love going to the dentist. I think it's because I make it like a habitual thing. I try to go two times a year. Ben is also getting his teeth cleaned. I'm getting my teeth cleaned. I think I'm getting like a crown cap put on as well, which is um, a long time coming. So um, I used to hate the dentist, but like Jen said, it's it's quite relaxing now when you're older. You can just sit back, lie on the chair and um, have some tasty mouthwash. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so this is an x-ray of my teeth and unfortunately, I'm having an issue with this molar back here. So this white bit is all a filling that I got when I was like literally 10. And of course, when you get something done, you're gonna have to get it replaced eventually. And right now, there's this little crack over here and so I'm gonna need a filling today. So I'm gonna go get that done. You're gonna laugh. At yourself, that you were worried. Okay. I promise. You're right, you're right. For real. Alright, guys, so I'm back home from the dentist and I just wanted to talk about my experience a little bit. Uh, I've been seeing Dr. Madahi for a year now. The first time I saw him was last June and I love going to the offices. Everyone is so nice, accommodating, and I love how efficient everybody is. Like, you're, you're in and out. And my uh, two fillings only took I think like 15 minutes and that was it. The teeth cleaning took a little bit longer because you know they had to really get in and just get in all the gums and stuff but my teeth feel great and I'm really happy that they caught it early. I think prevention is the key and the answer for so many things. Like once you already get to a point where it needs fixing, like there's a lot to, to be fixed but as long as you just keep a habit of maintaining things like your teeth, um, your health, it just gets easier to keep at it because it, it's become a habit and it's become ingrained in you. If you guys live in the Los Angeles area and you guys are looking for an amazing dentist, I highly recommend Dr. Madahi, he's incredible. I will leave all his info in the description box 
description in the description box below uh, go check it out by the way description box is one of the hardest words to say all the time uh, you think by now I would have gotten it but sometimes it's all struggle hello guys happy Saturday I am actually doing something really really fun today I'm at the Santa Anita mall about to have my meetup with Macy's we're celebrating Asian Pacific American Heritage Month it's so hard to remember so we've got like the sign there but yeah we're celebrating this month and so it's really cool to be able to combine my culture and meet you guys and do like a fun makeup demo so let's do it so here I'm at Macy's this is my very official sign we're celebrating Asian Pacific American Heritage Month and this is the lovely Macy's fam thank you so much for taking care of me of you guys are the best look at all the food behind the, the screens though. Like we've got hot Cheetos, fries, goldfish to diffuse the heatness if it gets too spicy. Got some fruit. This is, I like I love all these snacks. And you guys know how much I love to eat, so. This makes me very happy. All right, guys, I am back home from the meetup, and I just wanted to thank everybody who came out and supported me. Uh, the live demo was a little bit nerve-wracking, but I think we got it in the end. Uh, it was really funny because when I do live demos, I always feel like, I have to like fill in the space, but it's so hard for me to like talk and do makeup at the same time. But luckily, Gigi was there. So thank you so much to those who came out and supported. I got a ton of hot Cheeto fries and hot Cheetos. You guys know me so well. And also I've got a handful of letters. Uh, I really appreciate when you guys write those out to me because I know sometimes meetups can be so brief and so short because we just want to make sure that everyone gets a chance to actually like come and get a photo and all that. So the letters are where I can really see or I guess read about what you guys are like and I can connect with you guys that way. I'm also in this peach little gown because I'm heading to a gala and I'm very excited to go. I'm running a little bit late. I just need to find a decent coat to match with this. Like it's hard. Like I wish I had like a like a furry faux fur like white like thing to put over but I don't so I just gotta figure this out. <laughs> Little update I am in a dress and a top and I'm shooting with the lovely Rebecca Hi. and I was styled with the lovely Katie Hello. Hi. and we found this beautiful periwinkle <laughs> wall and we're gonna get started yay yay let's do it this is the very glamorous life of a photo shoot <laughs> yeah. just literally getting changed in a car hoping that no one sees you <laughs> Okay guys, it is it is 6:40 This this clock is wrong. It is wrong. It's 6:36. That's my nice. brother's fault. Oh wow. Actually this is good. So it always makes you seem like you're in a rush. Yeah. Right? Not always a good thing, but <laughs> you're always early. I know. Okay, we've just wrapped up. High five guys everyone. Hey. Good yes. job. We did it. <laughs> Hello everybody, today is Tuesday and we are filming for my Eggy summer collection and we're at the farmer's market and this is one of my favorite places to go for produce. I absolutely love their strawberries, their blueberries, their hummuses or hummai. Uh, Teresa's getting the final shots in there. That's not Teresa. Um, <laughs> Teresa, did you get caught? Did anyone stop you? No? no? I don't think so. Okay. I no. No, no. We're trying our best to be like super low key today because we have no permits at all. So. Hello, everybody. It is May 20th. I am about to upload this video right now. And I just wanted to come in and say goodbye and thank you so much for watching. I also wanted to thank everybody who left such positive uh, comments on my Korean American video. So I just want to thank everyone who was so sweet about it. And it just really opened my eyes to realize that so many first generation parents um, have experienced similar stories so it makes me feel like we're not alone and we're in this together i'm gonna finish this up and i wanted to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Mwah.